Welcome to this short tutorial on best practice when soldering wire to model rail track and joining two wires together. Here we have a 50 watt soldering iron with a ceramic tip and built in thermostat to set the temperature required. This is a 179 degree solder containing lead and silver. This is liquid no clean flux which means once used there is no requirement to clean it off. Here are a pair of high quality wire strippers with cutting blade. And here we have a fiberglass click pen for scratching the surface of the metal, providing a key for the solder to adhere to. So here we are going to solder dropper wires to a section of rail track. The first thing to do is to use the fiberglass pen to scratch the surface, and to clean the surface even further, we will apply the liquid flux using a small brush. This is applied to the metal surface. We now take the solder and soldering iron, taking the solder to the rail surface and feed the solder in. You can clearly see that the solder has adhered to the rail. Here we have our red and black dropper wires, trim, leaving the insulation attached to aid the twisting of the wire strands and then remove. We now tin the wire end by dipping into the flux and then apply the solder. Using the cutting blade, we trim the wire and bend to 90 degrees. Applying a little more flux onto the job and solder. Do the same with the black wire and finally, test the wires are firmly attached to the rails. Here we are going to solder two wires together. Using the wire strippers, we remove the insulation, twist the wire strands and repeat with the other wire. Positioning the solder, bring the wire solder and soldering iron into contact. Once done, place a heat shrink sleeve onto one of the wires and then solder the two wires together. Bring the heat shrink sleeve over the joint and using the edge of the iron, heat the sleeve to secure into place. A quick test to make sure the join is good. Thank you to DCC Concepts for supplying materials and demonstrating this tutorial.